I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist. My focus is on refractive cataract surgery and medical retina. The people who have cataracts, they go in to get new glasses and they just feel like the person prescribing their glasses is doing a bad job. They say, I've gone in to get glasses, they weren't any really good, the prescription didn't work or it only worked for a short time and then they think that they need, need to go back in and get, that, get, get the prescription right. And if they just got the prescription right, then they would be able to see again. But what they don't realize is no matter what prescription you put in front of your eyes, if you have cataracts, you're not gonna see well. So it really depends on the referring doctor, usually the optometrist who does the glasses, if they're dilating and looking in their eye and diagnosing the cataract or not. Sometimes, uh, Really good optometrists will see some cataract, but say, you know, okay, well, let's try a pair of glasses first. If that's not working for you, then we'll send you to get the cataract out. So that's not an uncommon theme for me, someone to say, I just got these glasses, they're not working, I was sent in, my optometrist thinks it's time to do my cataract. I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist. My focus is on refractive cataract surgery and medical retina. I treat um, diabetic retinopathy as well as macular degeneration, but I also do um, a wide scope of ophthalmology including treating cataracts and glaucoma. The American Academy of Ophthalmology recently stated that about 24 million Americans have cataracts and about 3.7 million of them will have had cataract surgery. So it's a pretty common procedure. It can, you know, it can be really variable. When someone first presents with cataract, Sometimes they're sent to me because another doctor saw the cataract, but the cataract's not bothering the patient very much. In which case, having a cataract is not a, is not a reason just to take it out. Because if it's not causing symptoms, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, as they say. So sometimes um, a patient will come, they'll say, I was referred here for the cataract, but I'm not really noticing anything. And so we say, hey, yeah, you do have a cataract. Sometimes I'm even a little surprised that they're not noticing it because it can be a pretty significant looking cataract from me looking in, but it's all about really the time we went to do surgery is their experience looking out through it. So if they're not having any symptoms, we'll, we'll just follow it a little while. Other times, you know, patients come in and, you know, they want it resolved quickly. We can usually do that, you know, usually within a couple of weeks from the date of the first visit. Are there any age limits or restrictions on having cataract surgery? Actually, no. So we typically think about cataracts as something that happens in an older population, but I definitely have patients who have cataracts for various reasons and they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s. It just depends on the person. Even kids have cataracts, actually. One of the things that I get asked often when you are referred in to discuss cataract surgery is, will you be putting a lens in my eye? And the answer is yes. When we do cataract surgery, what we are doing is removing your natural lens, which has become cloudy, and we have to replace it with something. So we're gonna replace it with a clear lens that you will have for the rest of your life. There are many different kinds of lenses that we can place in your eye, and ultimately it's our decision together to decide what's best for you. In today's, in today's modern cataract surgery, a lot of the lens choices have to do with how you're gonna see afterward in terms of wearing glasses. So when you get a new lens, what our hope is, even if you started wearing glasses when you were in second grade and you, you, know, you were super nearsighted, we can actually put a new lens in your eye that can make it so that you no longer have to wear those thick glasses. People love it. People love surgery for that reason because in addition to seeing better, they see better without these glasses that they have to wear their whole time. A lot of times folks are older, they're getting more contact lens intolerant because their eyes are drier. So they're, you know, they're having to wear their glasses, they can't wear contacts, and now all of a sudden we're able to like free them of that burden. They can wake up, you know, they don't have to reach for their glasses first thing. In fact, I have a lot of patients in their post-ops uh, visits who say, I still wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is reach on my bedside table for my glasses. But you know, I just realized I don't, uh, I'm not wearing them and I don't need them. So what are the risks of cataract surgery? Cataract surgery is extremely low risk, but it is still a surgical procedure. So even though it might take me less than five minutes to take out your cataract and give you a new lens, it's still a surgical procedure. So any surgery carries risk. With cataract surgery, it's the same as other procedures on your body. So there's a risk of infection, inflammation, 
leading longer recovery. The majority of patients do extremely well after cataract surgery, but some people take longer than others to recover. There's been a lot of research into that, especially for the sake of places where they don't have surgeons, you know, really trying to come up with a way to prevent cataracts in the first place. Around the world, cataract is a leading cause of blindness worldwide. So if they can prevent them from happening, particularly in places like very rural sub-Saharan Africa, very poor countries, then they can prevent a lot of blindness if they can prevent cataracts rather than finding ways to take out cataracts. There's been a lot of research. Nothing has really been effective. I mean, they thought at one point some beta blocker types of drugs might be effective. People over the years have thought maybe certain types of antioxidants or avoiding you know, ultraviolet. None of those things have really shown to really help with cataract. Cataract just seems to be a ubiquitous thing with aging. So we're just, we're still working on it. It would be great if we could prevent them in the first place, but so far we don't have a way to do it.